All right, what's up everyone? So this is the pre-Christmas mail day. Um, just arrived in the mail. It's a smallish kind of mail day, which I am having to replace certain cards in my deck to make sure that it's uh, Swedish legal. Because uh, in Swedish, uh, they don't... Well, they, well, I guess they're a little bit more flexible um, at the moment where they do allow um, EC... NCE, but um, I think foreign black border is not allowed or something like that. So just trying to replace as much as possible. Um, I don't think it's necessary, but I think at some point you just want to um, upgrade to upgrade whatever you can whenever you can. And that, that was the, the, that's the plan, you know. Um, so I'm going to remove the receipt. Okay, um, so this is uh, purchased through uh, Card Kingdom. Uh, yeah, let's let's have a look. See on what are the various um, what are the various items? Um, I think all these mail days also serve as verification that you receive the package. Um, but you know, by right, I'm supposed to also film the um, envelope address and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, uh, Card Kingdom is relatively reliable. Um, yeah, so look at this. Oh, yes, I've been getting this little Card Kingdom sticker, which is quite adorable. Uh, it's basically a, well, a castle, right? Right? Uh, yeah, see, so cute. Yeah, I've, I have a couple. This is the second one already. Yeah, uh, we'll keep that. Like, um, and yeah, these cards, right, actually work. I mean, I kind of use these cards uh, for um, kind of expanding the inner sleeve slot so that if I want to slot in some cards, I can. Yeah, so this is this has come in relatively handy. Okay, so let's kind of flip out and see what I got. Yeah, so um, what I've just purchased are a number of uh, alpha, um, alpha Islands. Now you're probably wondering why you know why buy such a um, why buy basic lands right and these basic lands actually are uh, one of my favorite things to look at you know um, they're very simple they just tap for one blue mana but you know uh, these are alpha basic lands and at the time these were probably given away for free. And uh, yeah, so these are purchased as EX condition or excellent condition. Obviously, EX condition uh, means that the surface is relatively okay, but you have um, edge wear. Well, this one seems a little bit, um, you know, more than usual, but still considered excellent, right? Um, let's see the fronts. The fronts seem kind of okay. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, so it's okay. These are pretty nice, uh, which is gonna go into my existing collection of Alpha um, Islands. Um, I am eventually planning to play Alpha 40, which is a um, league where you play uh, mostly with Alpha cards. So I'm building my, my at least my my staples first. So yeah, this will, this will be added to my existing collection of alpha islands you know i have some alpha um forests so these are the nicer alpha forests with the you know with the path and some nice flowers yeah see so this is pretty nice art by christopher rush this these are by mark pool right mark pool uh he is pretty popular for the ancestral recall and um, the uh, Birds of Paradise. Yep. Mm, the next next thing I want to show you guys is the, let me just put this away, um, the Alpha. So these are Alpha Planes. So Alpha Planes are also pretty nicely drawn by Jasper Mayfers. Yeah, just, you know, just very simple stuff, you know, yeah, this is a pretty pretty good condition as well. Yeah, quite nice actually for you know uh, EX. EX, like I said, excellent condition is a grading used 
for European grading scale, right? So it's below near mint. Um, and uh, yeah, you have itchware, right? Whereas near mint, you have very little, um, very little itchware. But you know, to me, because I'm a player, um, I tend to not mind slight edging. I'm not here to grade the cards. I'm here to play them, but I prefer cleaner cards um, uh, rather than the, 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 the ones that are uh, moderate play to heavy play. I just prefer better quality cards. So yeah, these are the alpha planes. Why are they alpha? Um, so alpha means that they have rounded corners compared to their beta counterparts. So this is, um, I don't think I have any beta, beta, yeah, I don't have any beta in this particular order. Um, these are all uh, legends cards, which I'll get into next. Um, anyway, beta doesn't have such round corners. Okay, these are very nicely rounded. So people are in love with this um, alpha cards now at the moment, very, very hot. Um, because of the Alpha 40 leak that happens um, s probably soon, right? And uh, you have Legends cards. Now, these Legends cards also serve a different purpose and function. For example, Greater Realm of Preservation. So this card I've been having, um, the Foreign Black Border version, uh, which is fine, right? Foreign Black Border... Uh, 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 alternatives they're they are they are they are alternatives to um the english based cards right because this game is just so popular it's everywhere around the world you have italian you have french um you have german right depending on the the set so i'm not too familiar foreign black border is available um uh for for legends in what other languages but mine was a uh, foreign black border one and uh, yeah, now at least I have the English one. So Greater Realm of Preservation just prevents damage that comes from the red or black sources. So red, red is all the burn spells, right? Lightning bolt, chain lightning, fireball. Um, also, there are certain enchantments like um, Lens Edge, where you can discard lands from both, well, yourself, once that en enchantment is played, right? Both yourself and the opponent can you know, discard lands. But usually, if that deck is structured in such a way, they would have the lands tax to fill up their hand with basic lands, okay? And it's a combination where you, for every upkeep, you if you are behind on lands compared to your opponent, you get to draw three basic lands, up to three basic lands from your deck during your upkeep. So that fills up your hand, right? From there, you can plan on either using that mana um, and also at the same time, you're thinning down your deck to, to, to have the higher chance of drawing cards that you want to play against your opponent. So that's, it, it has quite a number of uh, purposes. So this card coupled with another uh, Legends card called uh, Lens Edge, where you discard cards and you deal two damage to your opponent every every time, as long as you discard um, lands. So so this kind of helps out, right? And especially black source, especially okay. So black sources are uh, are quite good. So this would be in my sideboard. It won't be in my main board. This card will obviously prevent damage from these two sources. Black sources are yeah equally as detrimental, right? The the creatures are pretty powerful and um, there's no direct damage for black thankfully but their creatures are, are awesome right you have the hypnotic specter you have the order of Litbers, you have jizam the jinn you know stuff like that so so yeah you and and people love playing black um, um yeah so this is kind of like because i'm playing a white blue splash black kind of uh kind of deck this is good for the sideboard um next up is the kismet so this is a more of a oh no oh no they gave me a foreign black border one i actually requested for a english one and they gave me a foreign black border one hmm this is upsetting uh oh no okay uh this is quite bad yeah this came as uh suppose it shouldn't be a foreign black border it should be two english two uh oh no yeah this should be two english yes two english and this came as a 
Ah man, it came yeah, it came as a foreign black border. So it's supposed to be English and foreign black border. See, that's why guys kind of like see even Card Kingdom makes mistakes. And uh, this is uh, Lantex English, right? Kismet. Um, anyway, then I just go into the into the the card. Um, so. All creatures, lands, and artifacts played by opponent come into play tap. So this is great for any white prison deck, right? Or you're planning to force opponent to, to come in tap, right? Because all creatures, lands, and artifacts come into play tapped. So that's fantastic. Especially if you are playing a couple with uh, a couple of Winter's Orb, Stasis, um, you know, any kind of prison deck, right? This actually can be pretty handy. Um, as, yeah, and white prison is actually quite helpful. So I think two in the deck is great, but I'm a bit upset that it came with, this looks like German. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's German, uh, foreign black border. So, hey, yeah. And, uh, another land tax. So this is my second land tax card. Cool art by Brian Snoody. See the fellow is like a, you know, tax, tax guy, you know, like, haha, I'm come to take your money. Yeah. So stuff like that. Well, guys, um, that is all for the uh, meal day video. Um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next video.